Hello everybody, Spotted Gecko here again, bringing you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. And today I'm going to be specifically looking at an Azure Lane Commander. And her name is Hood. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because we have the Azure Lane celebration that's happening next week. And so I'm doing this video to help you make that decision of whether or not you want to purchase Hood or not when you see her next week. Now, the Azure Lane Commander Hood, she can be used for any of your British battleships in the British battleship line. Specifically though, she does a, a, a really unique thing for the Hood itself. She's actually quite exceptional for the captain on board the Hood, and I'll tell you why it's coming up next. So let's go out, let's move out of here. Now let's move up to the Hood. Okay, here she is right there. Let's bring her up. And there she is. Okay. Right now I have her at level 15 and at legendary level 2. And uh, having her at high level has, is really good for the battleship. Now, like I mentioned, you can use her on any of the British battleships. Whether it's Vanguard, Nelson, the Hood, the War Spite, Orion, the Iron Duke, etc. You can make use of her there. Her skills are just as good for that. And in a way, she's also basically a hybrid commander. She does have skills from the two standard commanders, which are Cunningham and Madden, available in the package. As well as, she has a very unique skill specific to her that is utilized really well for the hood. And we'll go over that shortly. Now, first off, let's look at her base trait first. Now, her base trait is quite an interesting skill. It's called Torpedo Charmer. It reduces the incoming torpedo damage to your ship. So basically, it basically it just increases your torpedo belt. Uh, for example, um, the torpedo damage to our ship right now. I have she has that mastery 17 of 20, giving it a minus 8.5 percent to any torpedo damage that strikes the ship. So if you have, for example, a 40 percent torpedo damage reduction belt, in a way you really have a 48.5% chance now. So that's a really nice skill to have. And I think that works, works out really well for the hood. Now, if you look at our first rank of skills here, right off the bat, we have Flammable Cannoneer, and we've also got Brawler. So you can see there's the hybrid right there, as Cunningham has the Flammable Cannoneer skill, and the standard captain, known as Madden, uh, has the Brawler skill. So you can make choice of either one. And like I've mentioned before in many of my videos now and guides, I do not recommend the Flammable Cannoneer skill, all because of the risk of catching fire of plus 13%. With all those HE spamming cruisers that every nation has in the game now, that all players play, it is not worth having your ship burn to the waterline because that's what will happen with this skill. It's not worth taking anymore. So the Brawler skill is basically the only choice you have here, giving you that minus 10% to your reload time, which is awesome, and torpedo det detectability of plus 15%. But you know what? The Ranger man guns are going to take a hit, but you know what? That's okay. I really think uh, the sacrifice you make there for those two other bonuses, far away that so the brawling skill is a nice one to take with uh, the hood now for her second level of skills in the second rank you have the gyrating drill bits and you have the crisscross now gyrating drill bits you guys are very very familiar with this it's your standard commanders have them it's your main gun ap shell damage of plus 10 percent because she's got it maxed and traverse speed of your battleship gun at plus 1.5 degrees which is great to have that but your maximum speed of your ship is minus 10%. And I don't choose this skill whatsoever for the hood, on the hood. And you'll know why. Uh, because um, I prefer having my, my hood is built as fast as possible. Okay, now, the crisscross skill, you'll have your traverse speed of um, your battleship guns of uh, plus 1.2 degrees. Now, you notice that this is a uh, skill that can be utilized with both destroyers as well as cruisers. So you could very well make use of hood on your cruisers or destroyers if you so choose, because you do have some skills that can work in that area. But I think you're, uh, if you're doing that, you're really kind of taking away from the strength of the hood, um, which is basically a battleship commander. Now, this is the reason why hood is so unique to the hood but you can also utilize this on other battleships as well 
And first off, we have the marksmanship skill, which you guys are familiar with. You've also got the firefighter skill, which uh, gives you that um, risk of catching fire reduction, which is highly vi valuable. However, this is the skill that really, really is good for the hood. It's called Royal Navy's Glory, a survivability skill, as well as confrontation. What this skill does, it increases the speed of your battleship and reduces the reload time of the damage control party. It's that speed of battleship that really makes this unique. Like I have it not at mastery level yet, but I want to get it there. It's at three of four so far. And that means what I have here is my maximum battleship in increases by plus 5%. The hood is already a pretty quick battleship, but right now with the Azure Lane Commander hood on board my battleship hood, the speed of my battleship is at 36 knots. That's as fast as, battle, as uh, destroyers and cruisers. In some cases, it goes faster than a lot of cruisers, and it actually goes faster than some of the destroyers. And you can still increase that speed even more, which is kind of nice. And that's what makes this uh, skill so unique to the Azure Lane Commander Hood. Now, the one thing at level rank 4 is... Um, she also has the master mechanic skill, giving you that nice um, plus two repair party charge once you get it up to mastery three or four. Right now it's only at one, but I want to get the hood increased to 16 so I can utilize the master mechanic of uh, plus two, giving me more healing for my ship. So it's, that's also a really nice skill to have. You've also got the emergency specialist which gives you damage control party reload time as well. But you're going to take a hit to your damage control party duration, though. So I really don't recommend that skill. And for Legendary Level 2, it's the standard. you got the Farsight, which you guys are familiar with, as well as Running with Scissors, which is the one I would recommend on this. So, and, and for inspirations, like, of course, I always recommend uh, Cunningham. Cunningham has that wonderful uh, um, concentrated devastation skill. But I also have um, Emil on here basically because he increases battleship speed and I want my battleship hood to be as fast as possible. So I got it at 36 knots, which is really interesting when you're playing the hood because basically you're playing the hood as she is in a historical sense, a fast battle cruiser. And uh, you can play that in the game. You keep up with those cruisers, you provide that great support. And Hood, the Azure Lane Commander, allows you to do that, which is really, really nice. And the ship is fast. So that is the Hood. Now, if we go back to my ship here with her on the Hood, and you can see it right there. We'll bring up the stats so you can see that. And uh, if we go to maneuverability, you can see right now it's at 35.9 knots with still room to improve that. We could probably get this thing up to 37 or 38 knots, which is going to be a phenomenal speed once I increase Emil some more and once I increase the um, her um, her Royal Navy gl uh, glory skill some more. We can get that speed up even more. And uh, that's what I like the hood for. Now, I also do note that the, um, the hood also comes with a uh, specific Azure Lane Commander uh, camel called uh, Hood. I don't have that specific camo, so I can't show you that. Uh, let's go back to the hood here. Okay, well, there she is. Um, that's the hood in all her glory there. And hopefully um, this uh, little uh, video here will help you make the decision of whether or not you want to purchase the hood or not. But do note, you can use the hood as a battleship commander. Um, any of your battleships within the British line, you can use her for that. Uh, but I think that she specifically works best on the hood. She's not as uh, viable as a British battleship commander like Nelson is. When I, I did a little thing on Nelson as well. Nelson can be really utilized well throughout your battleship line. And if you want a more viable commander, Nelson's probably your choice. But if you're looking at some, if you're looking at a commander specifically to enhance your hood, then she is the commander for you. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a like. And of course, it'd be wonderful if you would subscribe for future videos on my channel. I would appreciate that. This is Spotted Gecko Gamer, and I'll see you next time.